I don't think so bad commercial films do well. No. That's why so many films have been doing badly. <laughs> it's now. I think this master class should become an expose. You know there is a discussion going on social media about the entire episode of Varun and Janvi on the bench talking about Auschwitz and how every relationship goes through its own Auschwitz. I have faced criticism on all my movies. Even Dangal sir. Even Dangal. Some people called it patriarchal and stuff like that. How can he force his opinion onto the girls and so much or so that. On Chichore, some people called it insensitive. But I don't understand where does that sensitivity or that trigger goes when they watch, suppose, an English film. When Sri Ram sir saw the film, he came out and he said, Maza agya, yaar, maza agya. And it's good to see that you still have. What? <laughs> it's good to see that you still have uh, the. <laughs> Jodo mein. Jodo mein. <laughs> and you know this is a question for oh, all. Oh, no. <laughs> Iska meme bana ho, koi please. But the feeling that I'm getting from the south is, is so much love. Wo log jis tarhaa se aapko apnaate hai na. Honestly, it feels like a homecoming. And now we are doing a film like Bawal. It's a complete 360 degree turnover. वीक सो गाइज a clap for yourself first for being over here in such large number you know monday mornings are usually lazy but aaj yahan pe bawal hone wala hai so guys can we cheer for varun dhawan janvi kapoor and the captain of the ship nitesh tiwari what's up guys No, honestly, this is the second time I've come to your college. The first time I'd come, obviously, you all weren't in college that time. I think you all were in school, probably. I'd come for Badlapur. Uh, so I think this college has been really lucky for me uh, that I usually come here only when I do a good movie. So that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm really choosing the good movies to come here. But thank you so much in the rain for waiting for us and uh, to be out here. We'll have a really fun, uh, fun time today. Janvi is a little uh, under the weather. So are you. हम दोनों बीमार हैं लेकिन आ गए आप सबसे मिलने आई थिंक वी स्टार्ट ऑफ विद जानवी सिंगिंग अ सॉन्ग फॉर अस अ गजल फिर ये सब बीमार पड़ जाएंगे सो लेट्स अवॉइड एंड सर कुछ बोलना है आपको नो इट इट फील्स रियली ग्रेट टू सी यू गाइस टर्न अप इन सच ग्रेट नंबर्स मेक्स अस फील रियली लव्ड सो थैंक यू सो मच again for being a part of this pink villa master class it's our honor to host you guys over here it's our honor to be hosted by you himesh thank you <laughs> you're blushing you know my first question is for nitesh sir you know so this is something which i believe a lot of people might have asked you but the minute i saw bawal the first thing that struck my mind was what was the reason to set the film against the backdrop of world war like there are so many historical event what drew you closer to the world war aspect in the story yeah there, there are two uh, <clears throat> aspects to this you know one is very personal and uh, one is purely creative you know uh, when we started writing this whole arc of uh, these two characters uh, something which came to us was also that it can be set up against our own historical backdrop also you know because the journey remains the same when you visit these places when you experience those moments it has some impact on you and uh, our whole thing was that some really terrific movies have already been made on lot of our own historical uh, backdrops and uh, yes we can go ahead and do that you know but we would we be presenting something uh, visually fresh to our viewers you know and my one of my objectives is always to bring something which is not seen before you know and uh, incidentally you know in one of our earlier drafts uh, there was a jallianwala bag incident also which was there in the screenplay you know and there was a reason for it to be there and uh, this is one of the very earlier drafts and then sujitha made such beautiful movie yeah. uh, you know uh, and uh, then we said you know it's already been done you know so but world war 2 was still there so then we decided that uh, the best would be to you know take it in the 
world war zone because see whether it happens here or there you know emotions are universal you know you connect with the people you connect with the events it changes you whether it happens here or whether it happens anywhere else you know so that was the whole objective with which we approached it yeah. i think even jallianwala bag would have made for a great backdrop for this story like you said emotions are universal in in that front so yeah in 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 that draft you know there is a time when he goes and has a chat with his father you know he says hum to sirf teacher hain hum apne job mein khushi kaise dhoonde and father says main bank mein kaam karta hu lekin jab main ek माँ को देखता हूँ पैसे निकालते हुए तो मुझे लगता है कि शायद अपनी बेटी की एजुकेशन के लिए पैसे निकाल रही है जब एक बाप को देखता हूँ पैसे निकालते हुए अपने अकाउंट से तो मुझे लगता है कि शायद वो अपने बेटे के करियर के लिए पैसे निकाल रहा है यू नो जिस कि यू हैव टू फाइंड हैप्पीनेस इन योर जॉब यू हैव टू फाइंड हैप्पीनेस इन योर रिलेशनशिप यू हैव टू मेक एन अटैम्प्ट तुम जो पढ़ा रहे हो यू नो डू यू रियली हैव यू एवर फेल्ट इट your 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 experiences are based only on the bookish knowledge have you really felt it you know so that was that is what something which was prompting him to go there but then later on we made it to world war 2 and we changed his character arc also yeah varun you know ajju bhaiya it's a very kya bolte small town typical small town character and you know in maximum part of the film it's a character which will be hated by the audience k he is not treating nisha well how easy or difficult is it for you to play a character that is hated by the audience for maximum uh, part of the run time honestly when i was uh, uh, when i wanted to do this film and i heard the character i didn't feel he was a hateful character or he was a negative character i think uh, a lot of people behave negatively or do wrong things in their life but it's all camouflaged by image like unke ghar pe kya ho raha hai ya wo genuinely kaise hai There's an image we put on, right? Like, जैसे कि हम सब जैसे कितने बच्चे यहाँ पे बैठे हाउ वॉट प्रोफाइल पिक्चर्स यू ऑल पुट अप और इंस्टाग्राम हम लोग कैसे फोटो ले रहे हैं अभी बारिश हो रही है सबके बाल खराब हो गए इंस्टाग्राम के लिए फोटो डालेंगे तो फिल्टर लेके थोड़ा ये करके ऐसा अरे ग्रेट डे टू डे यू नो वील डू दैट जस्ट टू क्रिएट एन इमेज अ फेक इमेजरी ऑफ हाउ वी वॉन्ट द वर्ल्ड टू सी अस सो आई थिंक लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आ ले का जू सो आई डेंट एट एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम और दी अदर आई हैव met so many people who are like that and then when i've seen them vulnerable or when i've seen them alone then i'm like okay shit they are like that and not to say i'm a saint even i have had times at home when i've been rude to my parents when i've been rude to my wife or rude to any of my loved ones you know in sometimes you're angry it happens and uh, you have to learn to forgive yourself for that and learn how to be better so that's i think that's the way uh, that's the way i introspected a lot i observed a lot and and to be very honest lot of these lot of the boys lot of the men in small town they are taught also to be affected sometimes you know the, my dad is from kanpur he was born and brought up in kanpur so i chatted so much with him so when he came to bombay to make his life he told me that he had to put on an image to try to speak good english to try to fit in to wear certain clothes he didn't know anything he didn't know ki yaar aise behave karna chahiye but he would just be like uh, he would say ki uh, someone would talk in very good english near him he would catch the last word and just be like uh, someone would say da 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 bahut bada it's such a big house and he would say yes big big so just to fit in that is a thing you do to fit in but this whole film is to break that and to uh, tell people that we have to be proud of what we have and what we are because i believe every human being is good it's just circumstances and experiences which bring out negativity sometimes true absolutely and that's what the eventual messaging is towards the end janvi july is a lucky month for you you made your debut with dhadak on 20th july then there is bawal which released on 21st july you completed 5 years with it How do you view the journey from Dhadak to Bawal and completing five years with a film which has gotten you so much love for the character, which is the most challenging also that you have played? Yeah, I didn't realize that it had been five years honestly till you told me. I think it's been a very fruitful journey. It's been, it's had its ups and downs, it's had its perks, but I think it's been a journey that I've learned so much from, and um, and I'd like to think that I've. I've grown in my craft. I'd like to think that I've earned some amount of the audience's love because that means more to me than anything. I think the way that Nisha and this film has touched people's lives has made everything, everything, all of the ups and downs in the past 5 years feel worth it. 
Varun, you made your debut as a commercial film, like you did a commercial film like uh, Student of the Year followed by Mai Tera Hero and then after a series of them you shifted the trajectory by exploring slightly different films like Badlapur, October, even Bhedia I would say is a risky film and now Bawal. Does it ever scare you to pick up challenging characters which you know that this is a little bit of a as an actor? Like what's your thought process when you are choosing these films when your fans have in, in the early days of career seen you in a certain light? Everything in life scares you. I mean that's human nature. We get scared. Every time you have to leave the house, you're scared. Every time you have to do anything, you will be scared. You will have uh, certain anxious moments around everything but you have to overcome them and you know I've been saying this since my first film. I, when, I remember when Badlarpur released, they said you are art film, you are doing this, you are doing that. And I was like you know there's there's no, we say commercial, what is a commercial film? Ki aap das gaane dal do, ye kar do, item song dal do, wo kar do. Is that a commercial film? There is a good film and then there is a bad film. That is it, that is all that should matter. That we saw something and it was good or we saw something and it was bad. Obviously when something works at the box office and people buy tickets and people give it so much love, that means it's worked and that is also a testament that it's commercially bhi chali hai. Today only we got the news that we are number one, we are trending number one in 14 countries worldwide. So, I mean that would happen only to a good film, right? Why, why would someone make a, yeah. just a bad film go number one everywhere? So, so there's a good film and there's a bad film and, and like you, yeah, there are insecurities ki am I doing, am I not? Uh, appealing too much to the masses, am I not doing this? But I do feel slowly but steadily I wanted post the pandemic for the audience to trust my work. I just wanted them to feel that if this guy is doing a movie, he's doing at least he's doing a good film. At least we are coming in for something superb. Like, And I feel with all my films and with Bawal, I mean I've, I've got the most praise for my career right now with Bawal, uh, right now, which I'm very proud of. But even the next film which I'm doing with Atli, which we've not titled next, it's a mass commercial entertainer. But I hope it's a good film. I know it's a commercial film, but first I hope it's a good film also. Then, I don't think so bad commercial films do well. No. That's why so many films have been doing badly. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> they have to be good films. So, uh, any, uh, any people from the creative field over here, I would just suggest you all that whenever you will do work, huh, do something which will reach out to people. But also make sure it's good, it's genuinely good. Because then only it will have the legs and it will carry on and it will have a legacy. Janvi and Varun, you know, the social media is flooded with so much appreciation around the film. A lot of people from the industry have also seen the film. What has been the best compliment that the two of you have received and from whom so far? Honestly, it was at one of the screenings that we had for um, the students from IIT, I think. And there was one girl in the audience who said that she had had an epileptic episode yeah. recently. And as she was talking to us about it, she started crying and I, I distinctly remember her saying that she, she felt um, stronger after watching Nisha's journey and how her parents have supported her and how she was very moved by, by the film and the character and what everyone was trying to say. And to see your work affect someone and help them and I think what could be a, a dark moment in their life is it just, it's beyond anything. I know we speak a lot like Varun just did about commercial gains and good movies and bad movies but I think what we all mean when we say that is if it's say ho film ki or kahani ki, then you have a slight window to touch people's lives. Like I think that we have with our intention of the film and to see that or to see someone verbalize that meant more than anything. I was there in, I mean, I saw that reaction and I She did say that, now I'm not imagining it, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she said that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Varun, which was the best one for you? It's a great one, but I don't know if I can say it uh, near the principal and the teachers here, but when Sriram sir saw the film, he came out and he said, Maza a gaya, yaar, maza a gaya. I'm loving what you've done in this film, what a cool film. And it's good to see that you still have <laughs> it's good to see that you still have uh, the <laughs> Jodo Me. <laughs> to do a film like this. Yeah. 
and you know this is a question for oh, all no iska meme banao ha koi please please iska koi meme banao you know the the film deals with image over reality and you know we are living in an industry where people think it is run by perception how do you view pr in today's time and age i'm question. horrible at it <laughs> i don't know but he's i think so and him are more well equipped i don't think so no so so pr is i mean he knows obviously but doesn't do any of it how do we see it i think it's a bit uh, unfortunate that today in the world and i think the audience is seeing through it i think we should throw this question towards all all these young minds over here that jab aap film dekhte ho aur film aa rahi hai fir kisi bhi actor ki film aa rahi hai and release hoti hai to all these collections come out right ye sare collections come out to what is your feeling when you all see it aap sab believe karte ho ya aap रजिस्टर भी होता है रजिस्टर होता है या हाउ डू यू रिएक्ट टू व्हेन यू विल सी कि किसी ने बोला हमारा 100 करोड़ हो गया हमारा 200 करोड़ हो गया जो भी है हाउ डू यू ऑल रिएक्ट टू इट व्हेन यू विल सी दीस नंबर्स बीइंग थ्रोन आउट फेक वन गाय सेड फेक ओके ऑनेस्टली टेल अस यू ऑल डू सम ऑफ यू ऑल बिलीव इट समटाइम्स समटाइम्स व्हेन ओके सो व्हेन द मूवी इज गुड ही सेइंग वी बिलीव इट दैट्स फेयर एनी एनीथिंग एल्स और यू ऑल सी कि किसी का फिल्म आया एंड देन एंड वो एक आर्टिकल आता है कि अभी ये एक्टर बहुत पॉपुलर हो गए और उसने ये ये हो गया इसकी मॉबिंग इधर हो गई उधर हो गई सो यू ऑल बिलीव दैट और यू ऑल फील कि यार ये सर डाला है वॉट यू ऑल फील जेन्यूनली बिकॉज मुझे लगता है आजकल सब मॉब हो रहे हैं एक तो भीड़ इतनी है कि मतलब कोई भी जाके रेलवे स्टेशन पर भी खड़ा हो जाए तो वो सोचता है perception about yourself today unfortunately all the people uh, from the production and all the people who got us here are getting very scared but this is true you know this is very true when we do market films uh, it is nice when we do it with crowds and uh, you know i have i have at least for my i can speak for myself that whenever i have done it i have really enjoyed lot of love when i have gone to colleges around the country and uh, i would not be like this i was i remember mai tera hero jab aayi thi i would be very desperate i would say please meri film dekh lo yaar please watch my film ye kar ye wo and there would be a lot of people in the audience who would laugh on me also at that time because i had not done anything to prove myself maybe some people thought okay it's cute he's being so real about it but the fact of the matter is that hai hum log bhooke as actors we are very 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 much in need of the audience's validation 24/7 वरना वॉट इज अगर आपने पैसा कमाया है तो बाकी लोगों को बोलने की क्या जरूरत है आपका पैसा है बैंक में रखो खुश रहो बट एवरी टाइम वी वॉन्ट टू शो पीपल दैट वी आर सक्सेसफुल बिकॉज इट क्रिएट ऑल्सो अ परसेप्शन ऑफ हाउ थिंग्स आर बट आई थिंक अ गुड ट्रेंड दैट हैपन रिसेंटली राइट नाउ विथ विथ पठान वे यू सॉ शाहरुख सर नॉट गोइंग एनी वे एंड स्टिल यू नो पीपल टर्म इन टर्निंग अप इन होर्ड्स for him and his love now you know that is real you know that some real deep rooted love for the film for the actor and i think it's very tough to go back to that because we live in a very insecure world uh, where we want to show people our followers and our following so i think we are all kind of trapped in it but doing a film like bawal is very rewarding because we've not had to do that with this film right now we've not really gone out and done anything also i don't think so that nitish sir's style he doesn't <laughs> approve of it 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 goes against the grain of the film exactly it goes against the grain of the film it? to show any fake perception with this film the film is doing well we are very happy with it and hopefully the audience will keep spreading the word of mouth with <laughs> tell me what about your pr or lack of it lack of it i've been told that there's a major lack of uh, pr on my part but you know i've i've noticed in these past 5 years so many people after fil- after a film releases the conversations always along the lines of there's no such thing as a bad film it's only bad marketing are aise promote karna chahiye tha so many people so that many times people. i can't that's no name one of them i can't <laughs> i can't ye kya hai see someone said come on अभी भी काम करना है इस इंडस्ट्री में इतना पोल नहीं खोल सकती मैं नो बट आई आई मीन आई थिंक दैट आई थिंक दैट इज एन इंट्रेंसिक फियर वेन यू आर इन एन इंडस्ट्री और इन एन एनवायरमेंट वे एवरी वन काइंड ऑफ हैज यू नो दो स्पीकर फोन और सब चिल्ला रहे कि ये देखो ये करो ये करो योर योर स्केर दैट अगर 
if I'm the only quiet one, will anyone even notice? But I think it takes a lot of courage to stick to your guns and be like, nahi, kaam kafi hai. I think, I think that takes a lot. It's very daunting. And most times we can't follow through with it. I know that I've wavered in that belief myself. But I think it's, I think it's interesting to observe how the conversation is always marketing and PR driven and not so much ke think about your film choices or maybe this or maybe that as opposed to are thoda zyada naach leti to shayad you know acha actually you should have asked what is the most insecure thing you've done to promote your film that's a very good question should i be very honest yes what, what do you all think should she be honest i think <laughs> yeah please so I did this film called Millie and I got a lot of great reviews and a lot of appreciation for my performance but I didn't perform well at all at the box office. So I was being told that okay take what you can from it and and um, and then they'd make these creatives of, of uh, people saying a lot of positive things about just the performance and they're like okay let's plaster this everywhere so people forget that it only earned like negligible amounts of money at the box office and people only remember you know, the good reviews, which is great. It makes complete logical sense. It's what you do to, I mean, it's not even like we're lying, it's the truth. But I think to get your brain to work in that way, there's like a 10% bikao nature to what should be a very sacred art form, I think. Very, very well said. So for me, uh, your best PR is your work. There's nothing else can beat it. Yeah. Of course, the yeah. content travels faster That's than anything else. Varun, you can also answer your own question as to what's the most... So, uh, so this is when Badrinath Ki Dhuhaniya was releasing and uh, our music was with T-series and I was not hearing the songs on radio. So I kept saying, why radio pe gaana kyun nahi bajra hai, radio pe gaana? Then I found out that one of the radio stations has a problem going on. So I called up the radio station and I said, what is this? They said, are they are like that and all this, all this. So I said, tum batao, kya karna hai? Tum, humko itne plays doge, kya karna hai? So they said, you know, can we go and try to, they gave us a random idea of trying to create some flash mob on the roads of Mumbai. Now, uh, I didn't even tell Alia about this, that this is what we will be doing. I just said we have to go to do something, you know, for the film. And I've not told anyone, but I, my, my setting is over radio. Ke so I've taken and we are driving around Andheri only and literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> we've gotten outside near Yashraj or somewhere like that. And on that road, there's a chai wala over there, there are auto wala over there. We've gotten down over there, we played Tamma Tamma, and I've told her, dance. She's like, what? I said, just dance now, dance, dance. And that radio jockey started dancing, and I started dancing. There were like six people who first stared at us like we are mad. Then they recognized us. We danced, we filmed this, and we went. But after that, sir, they played the song everywhere. The radio. So moral of the story is get down from your car in Andheri and just start No, dancing. no, no, that's not the moral of the story. That's not. <laughs> That's that, but that's the most insecure thing I did for to promote my film. But that's not the way. That's not the reason the film worked. The reason the film worked is because Shashank made a good film. Yeah. Today we should all be just honest, you know. Just let's be honest today. Uh, Himesh should Before say. Before this, you were lying. Or what? Even Himesh should say that hum, sometimes un, uh, how much under pressure he is when he has to give good reviews to people, and he should name all the actors. <laughs> that I can't. I think this masterclass should become an expose. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the next question is, how do the three of you deal with appreciation and criticism? I'll, I'll talk about criticism first. Yeah. You know, uh, it's always very nice to talk about appreciation. Who doesn't want to? But uh, I take it in my stride. You know, uh, you need to understand that it's something which is a part and parcel of our job. You know, uh, every time you have a creative expression, there will be divided point of views on it, no matter what you create does not matter you know I personally secretly wish that criticism would be constructive you know uh, I believe in doing that uh, arguments if they are civilized you know can be very constructive say for example Himesh uh, if you're talking to me if you talk to me I will listen if you scream at me I'll close my ears. No, I'm not even listening to what you're saying. So that's the difference, you know. My thing is that you can question the creative process. You can question the creatives. Please do not question the intent. You know, the moment you start questioning the intent, it becomes hurtful. It puts a question on your credibility. 
which has taken so many years of hard work to build that is something which i think should be avoided you know so that's what my uh, take out on criticism is i'm very very all for it uh, but it should be a conversation you know so th that's it i don't take it in my stride sir <laughs> very i get like i would love the cool thing would be right now to say that you know i take it in my stride it doesn't affect me but it does affect me and uh, i have some sleepless nights i irritate my wife and uh, she gets irritated then she whatever gives me like it's okay it's okay all that stuff and yeah i mean but i don't take it in my stride i'm i'm, I'm i've gotten better with it i think i've gotten better with dealing with criticism now but uh, i can't lie it does affect me a little bit but but i think the idea what i have understood is that not to like kk told me this i had said this before also that agar aapko main glass do jisme aadha pani hai and you say ha main ye to pakad sakta hu means i can handle this criticism and now you hold on to it i'm strong enough but you don't let go of it you keep holding on to it keep holding on to it keep holding on to it after some time your hand is going to start hurting so the idea is to let go is what he had told me and uh, i think i agree with that and it's true but when 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 have we ever been uh, criticism free you know i have faced criticism on all my movies even dangal sir even dangal some people called it patriarchal and stuff like that how can he force his opinion on to the girls and so much so that on chichore some people called it insensitive can you believe that you no know, so i have faced it on all my work you know so i mean as i said you know the way i want it to be is i wish the way it would be yeah i think it's important to note that when you're making a film it's essentially a work of art and the worst thing that could happen when you make a film is that it comes and goes without affecting anyone without causing any amount of debate without making any impression so if your work is being debated upon if it's stirring conversation if it's moving some people or if it's making them think about things in a certain way i think those are all um good things but i think like sir said it's important to understand the intention always and if you misunderstand the intention then i think that that is also what i would call tone deaf because the intent is what eventually matters we have made bawal with so much of love so much of good intentions there are so many good messages which are there in the movie you know you take out one or two odd incidents and i'm talking about few people you know and run down the whole film you know that means you do not believe in any of those strong messages which the film stood for you know which is something she said she felt moved you know and there's so many of them which are out there so i mean i just wanted to make this point yeah you know there is a discussion going on social media about the entire episode of varun and janvi on the bench talking about oshwich and how every relationship goes through its own oshwich what do you have to say about this discussion that's going on 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 the social media i mean every all three can answer this uh, question as i said you know we made bawal with a uh, lot of love lot of care and lot of good intentions and predominantly it's been understood the way i wanted people to understand it you know and that's been quite overwhelming you know however i'm a bit disappointed with the way some people have comprehended it that was never the intention you know it would never be my intention to be insensitive in any which way it was a context okay now let me tell you what happens in auschwitz okay don't we see aju and nisha getting completely troubled and moved by what they see in auschwitz yes they do they see the prisoners they see people how they were stacked they see people how they were you know exterminated and stuff like that and every physical torture people went through and are they being insensitive about it no they are moved to tears when they are seeing the wall of death when they are seeing the photographs of the photo gallery and stuff like that you know now that was the physical aspect of auschwitz then there is an emotional as aspect of the auschwitz which the survivor is telling his story when he talks about auschwitz in general he is talking about his own personal experience he is not generalizing everything which happened in auschwitz even i didn't feel anything while watching the film i mean 
इवन आई वॉज सरप्राइज वेन आई सॉ दोज रियक्शन एंड आई लाइक ऐसा तो मुझे भी कुछ नहीं लगा देखते वक्त सो आई वॉज एक्चुअली टेलिंग सर राइट बिफोर वी गॉर ऑन स्टेज दैट आई नो सम वन हुज अ प्रोफेसर एट एन आई वी लीग यूनिवर्सिटी एंड ही इज़ इन इज रेडी एंड ही हैड एंसेस्टर्स दर अनफॉर्चुनेटली डिड नॉट सर्वाइव द हॉल कास्ट एंड ही सॉ द फिल्म एंड ही वॉज वेरी मूवड बाई इट एंड ही अंडरस्टूड एवरी थिंग दैट वी सेट आउट टू डू विद द फिल्म एंड and never once in the conversation did he even allude to being offended by anything so like i said i think it depends on people's views but the intention has always been has always been pure and always to acknowledge the turmoil the devastation and um and just the monstrosity of what happened there and how that i mean i know when i went to these places my first organic thought was if this was me what would i do If this was me and my family, my kya karti? It realigns something within you, and um, yeah, that's what happens to Arju and Nisha. You know, to this, if if I do honestly speak, I mean, it's okay. I'm not uh, like I said, I'm not new to criticism in that sense. I've done films which I've got like uh, sometimes got a lot of criticism and gone on to be big, big hits like a Jodwa or Main Tera Hero or. A, A B C D two. I mean, they've all been criticised in that sense, which is totally cool. I respect the criticism, and like Sir Sudhir, we had to speak in a very civil manner. What I don't understand, like how Sir said, it's a context, and your protagonists are characters from Lucknow, and you're showing that the character in himself, which is Ajju Bhaiya, initially he is a tone deaf character. The character is tone deaf. That is what it, he has been shown as. That this, and it's not that you're showing him as a hero. You're showing him as negative. that's why all the praise is coming for the character that first time a uh, uh, hero has agreed to do a negative character and see then he becomes likable so the character is supposed to be negative so the way nisha will explain him is in a way that he should understand right she has to talk to him in that way it's not like talking to someone who's a philosopher or a or a, you know great literate in that sense that's the first thing second thing i respect everyone's opinion everyone has the right to have a opinion and some people got triggered or got sensitive about this but i don't understand where does that sensitivity or that trigger goes when they watch suppose an english film i'm saying for example where does that sensitivity go when where i'm saying small things when when they are allowed to do everything over there in their and they are allowed to take these leaps and they are allowed to show things in that way but you will find that correct there you own this thing and i know people who have felt very triggered after watching a small scene it's a small feel it's a brilliant film but a small scene in a recently released film but it is a scene which is important to our culture and our country but that is okay for you you don't feel that is you should they should be more sensitive to us that time so where does your criticism go then or when you watch even comedies over there wo log thoda bahut kar lenge slapstick kar lenge ye kar lenge it's okay are see their society they are so open they can make these jokes and you'll say that it's okay you know it's this type but with us do you want to get personal even for cer- certain dubbed films i'm saying which come here in hindi that time when you're reviewing their films why don't you see the misogyny but when we have it you want to see misogyny you want to see a lot of issues you want to point it out good point it out that's the way society will move ahead i'm saying that's good but i'm saying you you can't have a different yardstick to measure everyone it should be the same there's no need for this way of judging films i mean i would say this in a civil way and keep it equal for everyone see i idea is that you know you start looking at a film with a magnifying glass you will find problem in every piece of work which has been created there's no piece of work which can go criticism free if you decide to start watching it with a magnifying glass but that's not how a film should be watched but you know in today's time this this is actually one of the negative points of social media where people pick up on one screenshot or one chota sa snap and dal diye and wo viral ho ke conversation i think that's one thing which everyone is facing in today's time and age because of digital that's that, a real, reality we I, have to live with yeah and that doesn't affect me much but i'm okay with that that i'm okay with because now i'm like that's part and parcel of life that's part and parcel of fame in in such a way uh it's sad but if i have to honestly tell you sometimes these things are even engineered by people that koi baat nahi kar raha hai hamare film mein ke bare mein let's do this yahan pe to i feel ki bawal apne aap ho raha hai film ke baad 
not that we are trying to i think uh, the film uh, like so, so many of you all that saw it or we all did you all find something insensitive in the film or anything be honest honestly say kisi ko laga upar one person said yeah anyone else he saying kya acha kya insensitive sorry kisi ko film insensitive laga like the take on world war kuch galat bol rahe hain chalo is camera un pe bhi hai na bhai acha theek hai I understand if the intention of these people is to motivate us to exercise sensitivity. I'm all for that. I think that as a society we need to progress in that direction. But like we all said before, I think it's important to just understand the intention behind everything. But uh, Varun, you know, uh, before Bawal, the two films which you have done with Sajid sir is Jhudwa 2 and Dishum. And now we are doing a film like Bawal. It's a complete 360 degree turnover. Were 360 नहीं 180 360 वापस सेम oh, था 180 था degree था। sorry it's a complete turn around oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nishada studios yeah. 180 were you surprised when he came to you with Bawal him him and Nitesh sir you know they didn't come to me I went to them I had told uh, Sajid sir we've been discussing since a long time to do a film uh, since our last association and obviously I know Nitesh sir has made a film with him and I told him sir please मुझे Nitesh sir के साथ काम करा सर अरे यार वो सुनते नहीं ऐसे ओनली वी हैज समथिंग ही वर्क विद यू देन आई आस नितिस सर ही डेंट हैव एनीथिंग एट दैट टाइम एंड आई थिंक दे स्टार्टेड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन नितिस सर एंड साजिद सर अबाउट समथिंग बिकॉज नितिस सर विल ओनली कास्ट समवन वेन ही फील्स दे आर करेक्ट फॉर द रोल ही डजेंट राइट फॉर अ पर्सन सो आई थिंक वंस द कॉन्वर्सेशन स्टार्टेड एंड नितिस सर काइंड ऑफ टोल्ड हिम दैट यू नो वरुण वुड बी गुड फॉर दिस देन साजिद सर आई गेस put everyone in the same room together and uh, no i was not surprised i think when you have a director like nitish tiwari and you know he has this kind of a vision yeah. it's about pulling it off it's so fantastical that can you pull this off how will you show world war 2 coming alive i mean it can look really off also but the way we did it we went to auschwitz we we actually went to the camps the measurements were taken the real the best of technology was used we shot everything has been shot in real locations you know Uh, even the uh, battle on Normandy beach, it was actually Normandy beach. I'm not lying. We were actually there in France. We flew there to Normandy beach. We went to, you know, where they show that Hitler is dead and like, उसके साथ क्या किया है? There's a parking lot there. It's the actual location. I was quite. Uh, so my reactions are real. When I'm reading over there, and I'm like, अरे ये हुआ था. That's a real reaction because even I was surprised myself. Only Auschwitz and Anne Frank's house were the two things which we had to recreate because. and they were very kind both the places you know and frank's house said we do not allow anybody to shoot inside but we will allow you to shoot outside uh, and inside we will give you provide the artworks and everything so that you can recreate it so what you've seen in the film and frank's house interior has been recreated exactly as per what we got from them auschwitz was kind enough to allow us to scan the place you know they allowed us to scan the in, sections which was the only second film to do yeah, that actually which were uh, there and uh, then we recreated and shot it on uh, virtual so just to give you a backdrop of what he was saying now nitesh sir you know uh, moving on your next is ramayan it's a trilogy if i am not wrong how do you plan to interpret the epic for the big screen there's so much chatter about ramayan going around so how do you plan on that i like to keep my cards close to my chest at this point of time and i i do not want to talk about ramayan at all at uh, this i hope you'll understand the reason why uh, at an appropriate time you know yes of course we would love to come out and talk about it uh, but for this moment i would say let me oh, keep quiet yeah okay. janvi on uh, there's so much love and respect that you get from the southern industry like there are so many fans who want to see you do a south film you're finally doing does the love and respect make you nervous anxious because there's a long legacy behind there so that's honestly mera nervous or anxious hone ka quota maine dhadak ke sath hi shayad khatam kar liya but the feeling that i'm getting from the south is so much love वो लोग जिस तरह से आपको अपनाते हैं ना ऑनेस्टली इट फील्स लाइक अ होम कमिंग ऐसे जब मैं सेट पे गई थी ऐसे लग रहा था कि मैं घर आ रही हूँ इतना नो दैट जस्ट मतलब क्या किया गया बस बहुत प्यार दिया तो हम लोग ने प्यार नहीं दिया सर ऐसे बोल रहे हम लोग ने इसको नहीं नहीं आप लोग भी दे रहे हैं बहुत प्यार 
हम भी प्यार दे रहे हैं प्यार दे रहे खुद अभी वो लड़की ने बोला भी ना हमारे साथ चलो थिएटर नहीं नहीं बहुत प्यार वो घर भी ले जाएगी आपको आप इट फील्स ओवरवेलमिंग आई थिंक द सेंस ऑफ ओनरशिप दैट दे हैव ओवर ओवर मी आई थिंक बिकॉज ऑफ वेरियस रीजंस प्रीडोमिनेंटली माय मॉम इट्स इट्स वेरी स्ट्रांग इट्स वेरी स्ट्रांग सो आई आई फील लाइक आई नीड टू गिव देम दैट लव बैक लाइक आई हैव ट्राइड वेरी हार्ड कि मैं आप लोगों को भी वो प्यार वापस दूँ कोशिश जारी है तो उनको भी उनके साथ भी वो करना चाहती हूँ and varun vd18 after long time we are seeing you in a commercial action masala film last time you didn't say anything at least now we are starting shooting in like 7 10 days could you tell us something abhi no i can't uh, genuinely can't reveal much but uh, it's very exciting i think the way the kind of conviction i think atli has uh, in his general film making about things it's just and this has been a long term long time in the making and we've been speaking about it for a long time all i can say it's a uh, uh, like a mass action entertainer there's a lot of entertainment in the film also which i love as well and uh, yeah i'm just going to give it my all I, I, that's all i'm just, I, my shoulders a little tweaked right now but i have to get it in place because this i'm going to give it my all in this that that's what i'm going to go for on that note thank you so much guys it's so lovely having you here and thank you everyone for being this amazing audience thank you guys thank you guys so much for coming thank you for watching bawal giving it so much love for a few who haven't watched it please catch the film it's available on prime video it's available on amazon prime please watch it uh, thank you so much thank you thank you